Today, I want to get into Jimin getting really upset and this causing fans to panic a bit. We also have the newest Jimin Face album getting some controversy among different fandoms, and I want to talk about that. And then we have Rose from Blackpink and why a TV show scene was removed over her. So, hey, dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hit or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, taste filling mug merch, and let's go. There's been a bit of controversy with the scene that apparently a TV show used. If you're not aware, there is a Chinese drama called Justice in the Dark. This is a very popular boy love drama and it was adapted from the novels. I don't know if the drama itself features gay references or if it's more just a subtle thing due to the sensitivity of those things on Chinese TV. But the idea is that it's supposed to represent that. So it's a really good drama and they seem to make some sort of mistake. Recently people were very upset. I haven't been able to watch the drama myself so everything that I am mentioning is from what is said online. And it's very hard to verify as I think a lot of Chinese streaming services are blocked in America. So if you have seen it, please let us know. There was apparently a scene in which there were some sex workers to choose from on an iPad. The scene went by pretty quick, but people noticed something immediately wrong. Apparently while scrolling, fans noticed that one of the sex workers was a photo of Rosé from Blackpink. Now I'm sure the design team was simply just googling hot sexy photos of Asian women on Google and went with whatever they found. But of course a lot of bliss got very upset that Rosé was being used in this way. But keep in mind the design team or art team could likely have no idea who Rosé is and just decide to use the photo. If you google hot Asian women, pretty sure you wouldn't have to go far before Rosé comes up. But they also added makeup and brightened the hair to make it appear like a different person. And the original photo was found on Rosé's Instagram. So they changed her a bit, probably in hopes that if it was a real non-celebrity person, they would not be confused with the sex worker. Now you might think this is not a huge deal as it's just a scene and Rosé is barely noticeable. But a lot of fans were upset that anyone who does come across this that does know Rosé is going to think that Rosé agreed to be seen in that light or the label might have agreed for her to appear as a sex worker. Of course there's nothing wrong with sex work but it's very important to understand how it can affect the image of a K-pop idol. Also given the long-standing feuds between China and Korea this would be seen as an act of trying to hurt a K-pop idol. Since the K-pop genre is one of Korea's prime of course, with the backlash, the team who edited the photo tried to silently deal with the issue by just entirely removing the scene. This didn't calm anyone down, and I guess they were losing viewers or the issue just wasn't dying down. So the team came out to give a statement and heavily apologized to Rosé and the fans. They ended up also saying that they wanted to reach out to Rosé directly and apologize to her. I'm wondering if they're thinking that Rosé tweeted or posted about the scene and that is why they got hate. Because Rosé probably had no idea this scene or show existed. As I assume, she probably isn't watching Chinese dramas, so even if you do reach Rosé, I feel like she is not really going to respond or care. And if Rosé does care, then a lot of the issue just gets bigger. So I don't know what the plans are here. I hope that next time we hear Rosé was in a drama, that it would be for a much better reason. We get to see BTS on a lot of shows, and it's usually for a reason that we like. Recently, BTS has been still doing their Run BTS series. They play a bunch of fun games in this show and show a lot of their real personality in this show. They show their cute interactions with each other, how they joke, and just how they are in real life. And this is why armies love it. I do react to a lot of these episodes on Patreon, so if you would like to join me and Fangirl, then I will link the Patreon below. We have a great time laughing and having fun, and we still have a $1 tier open, so I hope to see you there. In this particular episode of Run BTS that I am talking about today, the boys were playing sports and playing soccer. There was an intense moment in which the game was relying on Jimin. They had to kick a goal and J-Hope was the goalie. Jimin kicked and then J-Hope very quickly blocked it. Jimin then appeared like he was about to cry. He was scrunching his face and he seemed very upset. Jimin even told J-Hope while upset that J-Hope had great skills as a goalie. Many people could totally see why he would be upset as the stakes were very high here. I think this was shocking to most people as we haven't ever seen Jimin this upset looking and he did look much like he was going to cry. When the episode was posted, armies had a lot of things to say and most of that was that they were panicking due to how Jimin was about to cry. Some people were even joking that they were going to throw hands. But throw hands at who? J-Hope blocked the kick. You gonna throw hands at J-Hope? And then we have a lot of people who were more impressed over Jimin's alleged acting skills because in the next scene we see Jimin play and he was literally so okay and so back to his cheerful self. This would imply that he was just acting sad to make people feel bad or just acting sad because he can. I mean shall we make a petition to 
to have Jimin be in a new TV show or something, link below to sign. I'm kidding. But I love watching these shows and seeing our boys have a lot of fun and of course seeing our boys real emotions. However, I don't know if Jimin would actually cry or be upset over not hitting a goal, but who actually knows? However, you might notice a surge in people talking about Jimin lately and if you have not been keeping up, then I'll be sure to tell you. Jimin has a new solo album coming out. It's going to be an album with mostly Jimin's voice. There's obviously some features on there, but it's mostly Jimin and those who have been dying to hear more from him will finally get to hear more. The album is called Face and recently the tracklist has been dropped and the internet died. There's been seemingly six songs, which is little, but they might have some bonuses and ARM is actually featured in three of them. March will be busy as we'll have a lot of new drops of new things like teasers, photos, and shorts that will give us a look into the album. So we have a lot to look forward to. So what is the controversy with this album and all this stuff? Because I wouldn't be talking about it if there wasn't some controversy. Well, the name dropped, people freaked out, and others felt it was similar to other names that had come out. Solar from the group Mamamoo had released an EP called Face, and then Key from Shiny had also released a solo thing called Face. So a lot of these fandoms were very upset over Jimin's album being called Face, claiming that Jimin copied those two. Others were even more upset that some armies were saying, we didn't start anything, but you guys did, referring to the fandom, because other fandoms are claiming that if Jimin had an album called Face First, all armies would be attacking their favorite artist for having that name too. But since it's Jimin, people are trying to be like, Face is just a word, anyone can use it. And I can understand that argument. However, going back, I want to talk about why Jimin's album is not copying the other artists from the other groups. And even if it was, it's not a bad thing, as he is a big fan of Shiny and Mamamoo. But anywho, Big Hit dropped a statement about Jimin's album when it came out, Face, just as I am sure the other albums had a similar concept, is about facing yourself and finding yourself, which is why Face is also the name of the other artist's solo work. Because as someone who might have been in a group for a long time, it would be difficult to find yourself within all that noise, supporting your other members and working alongside a group and creating music for the benefit of the group rather than what you want to do. So Face almost represents this concept of finding him or herself. So there's no copy here. It's just like if the members came out to say that they were doing solo and then other people were like, they're copying so-and-so. And the thing that I don't understand is that even if an artist draws inspiration from another group, what is so bad about that? I feel like a lot of people learn the word copy or plagiarism in school and teachers just over-exaggerate that anything that is remotely similar is considered plagiarism. And so you just believe this idea that plagiarism is bad when being inspired is not plagiarism. But in college, it is. Businesses and especially pop plagiarism off of each other all the time. The whole thing of pop is to create music that everyone is going to like and music that will be popular, hence why it's called pop and oftentimes commercial music. The point is to be successful, make money, and have the song be as big as possible. And it's totally okay to like that music, by the way. That doesn't make you basic or weird or whatever. I love pop music, but I understand the point of it too. But anywho, when there's a formula or a path to make pop music as successful as possible, would you not follow it? That's what a lot of pop artists do. Do. It's not a bad thing. But also Jimin didn't do that. The concept of an artist going solo for the first time and then trying to find themselves is not anything new and won't be a concept that the general public would not understand. But I am very curious to know what you think about all this. Do you think Jimin burst into tears during his game on Run BTS? Do you feel like Jimin had copied both Key and Solar? And what do you think about the sex worker scene being cut with Rose in it? And was that strange? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos linked down below. Thanks, just leave a comment right here. Love you. Bye.